Most of y'all must have heard about the wildcard situation at the French Open and how everyone is saying that team got screwed and that the French Tennis Federation showed disrespect towards the two-time finalist, who is retiring after this season by not giving him the main draw wildcard and opting to give those opportunities only to the French players. But yesterday after his first qualifying round win against Franco Agamemnon and Dominic himself said that he doesn't feel like he deserved a wild card. He said, and I quote, honestly I had a long time to be in a good ranking, I had enough tournaments and enough time to climb up the ranking and I didn't do it so I kind of didn't deserve it and that's fine. And I completely agree with him that it is fine and I would argue that it's actually better for him that he didn't get a wild card and let me explain why. First of all, and this might sound as a bit of a pompous reasoning, but let's be real, Dominic will be the main attraction of these qualies. All eyes will be on team and nobody will overshadow him as it was evident in his match yesterday where 10k people packed a stadium to watch him play a relative nobody. With all due respect of course. And Dominic deserves this attention. Secondly, if all goes well and he qualifies for the French Open, he will get much needed match practice and confidence before the main draw. As I said before, Domi already beat Agamemnon in the first round, in the second round of qualities he will play Otto Virtanen, who is a really talented player, but his preferred surface is indoor hardcourts and his clay court skills are lacking in comparison. And if he overcomes this Finnish obstacle, he'll play either Andreev or Zapieri and those two guys are definitely beatable. Again, obviously we are talking about perfect scenarios here, but I'd rather see an informed Domi in the first round of the main draw than a cold one who would play in the tournament just to remind everyone that he is still an active player. And thirdly, he'll finish his final French Open campaign with dignity, no matter the result, because he wasn't begging for a wildcard like an entitled little shit. If he loses tomorrow, it doesn't matter, cause at least he tried to get into the main draw with no handout. If he loses in the third round, then he was just a step away from entering the main draw. And if he loses in the main draw, then it is what it is, as this result was kinda expected. And I pay attention to this leaving with dignity part, cause not everyone can do that. For example, today I read a Twitter thread that recapped an interview of Caroline Wozniacki's father, and I'll leave the link to it in the comment section down below, but basically he had a very entitled viewpoint on wildcard allocation. And I can't say that these type of quotes make me feel for her in any way, so respect to Domi for taking this wildcard decision on the chin. And listen, I can understand those fans who are not satisfied with this decision from the French Tennis Federation to not grant team a wildcard, but I did provide you with at least three positives that arose from this situation. So with that being said, like the video, subscribe to the channel and until next time, Take it easy, my friend.